So um, along the way, I mean, look, you're obviously a very smart guy. You're obviously very self-motivated. You got involved with um, coaching with all the leads about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Is that the primary focus or, or how would you describe how you build your business? Was it a combination of that on your own? Did you kind of find your own way? Did you some other coaching principles you brought into that business? How would you describe how you built out your process and procedures? Yeah, so um, obviously they teach you how to talk to the probate person, <clears throat> but when you break it down, it's just about adding these people to a database and doing proper follow-up with them. Yeah, at some point you're going to have a conversation with them and you have to sell them on the team, I guess, on converting them to real estate and see if they want to sell a house, which is fine. But most people do not want to talk to a real estate agent for three, four or five months. So I, I know that through, you know, they're not going to respond until the fourth or fifth, sixth letter. They're not going to respond to your real estate cma or real estate uh verbiage most people do not want to hire you as a real estate agent until the attorney tells them they need a realtor to hire and then they're going to go look to a friend or someone that's been bugging them so i just put a system together in a, uh, my sierra interactive that once i know so i make the initial call to know if they have a house to sell i don't care if they're going to sell it now or five years from now they're going to be in my database. I have a action plan that drips out to them for up to four years right now. I'm extending it to another year. And I'm getting most people now in that tail end of uh, after 12 months, which is fine because then that usually they have a tenant in the property or a cousin or a nephew that won't leave or it's some type of title issue that, that gives us the opportunity to purchase the property because it's in a dire need. I, I can't say that I list a lot of the prop, probates. Uh, I try to talk them out of it, or not talk them out of it, but if they're not willing to hire a realtor, I'm gonna buy the house. I'm not gonna leave the property without making an offer and, and, and get it signed. So kind of went off on a tangent, but. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I think uh, it's interesting. So, so you're really focused as an investor more than a real estate agent. You start as a real estate agent and move that way. And I can see why the deals kind of sit in front of you. I think the yeah. thing that's common though, whether you're a realtor or investor is what you said is the, what I call the long tail of the market that mm -hmm. realtors will often get in these programs. And I'm sure you do the same thing. You listen to these coaching calls and they'll say, well, I bought the leads last month and I mailed the postcards and I gave you listings. I'm like, well, yeah, that'd be like planting a bunch of seeds of corn. And see yeah. back in your porch saying, I didn't get any corn stalks yet, right? It's, it's the same right. thing. Um, and I know that uh, when you when you data analyze from lead to closing, the average is about two years, yeah. which means some will sell in the first 30 days. There are the occasional deals, and I want to ignore the miracles, but the average, so your, your, your plan better have a, 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 a way to get to two years or longer, in your case, four years, and you're extending it. Um, but it seems to me that's the crucial point. Is this clear to you as to me? That's the really, when agents struggle or investors struggle in probate, to me, that's always the essential issue is how long did you write your plan for? And did you execute your plan for that length? Yeah, it, it, you know, it just goes back to having that database and knowing that you're putting people, you're putting these leads into a system that is going to remind you, one, to call them either, either after the initial phone call or you put them in as a, like a new status lead and you leave them that new status until you at least talk to them. Uh, we're leaving them voicemails, we're texting them, we're calling them until we get them, until we identify what they're gonna do and if they have a house to sell, then we put them into an action plan that's gonna tell me every 21 days to follow up with them. Until they sell the house. Until they do something. And, and so Eric, Every day I wake up, I have 30 to 40 people that I need to call. Not that I need to call them, but I need to put eyeballs on their profile in my system and see and listen to a recording if I need to remember what they said to me. But I have over 7,000 probate leads I've purchased. I actually have over 12,000 probate leads I've purchased. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of 
we don't call them all. There's it's down to like maybe fifteen hundred that we're following up with, and then the rest are just put into a, a, a you know I've canceled my Facebook ads, but I'm redoing some YouTube ads for that to stay in front of them. You know, and I also get uh, so often, um, you know, agents will, uh, on my team, I'll show them what I do, and I'll give them a list of the cases to call them. They'll say, what? Well, I called them all, and most of them aren't selling their house. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's like when you call homeowners, most say they aren't selling, but they all eventually do. Yep. Your job is to be there, so when they do, you're there. Mm -hmm.